Hello, thank you so much. I'm delighted to be able to be with you today. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a topic that for many people is rather new. And if you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you a number of images. And if the little photo strip on the right hand side of your screen is in the way, go ahead and minimize it or drag it out of the way. Today, I want to talk about going beyond what most of us have thought about with regard to food. The, the old idea was you eat an unhealthy food and that gives you a health problem like overweight or high cholesterol or diabetes. Fair enough. There's some truth to that, of course, but let's get more sophisticated. Foods allow us to control our hormones. Hormones control everything in your body. And if you know how foods can manipulate your hormones, you have control over an enormous number of things that influence your health. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So what are hormones anyway? What's a hormone? A hormone is like a letter. It comes from one place to another place. A hormone is made in one of your organs. It goes through the bloodstream to another part of your body where it gives information. So. Your thyroid gland, for example, to the base of your neck, it makes thyroid hormone that goes to the cells of your body and gives them energy. But sometimes we don't have enough hormones. It's like not getting enough letters in the mail. You don't have the information that you need. The opposite can happen where you've got too many letters in the mail, too much information, too much in the way of hormones, and that can cause all kinds of problems too. We need to be in balance. And this lecture is all about getting your body into balance. Okay, so hormone number one, let's talk about insulin. You know about insulin. That's the issue in diabetes, right? Well, I wanna show you how insulin works, how it goes wrong, and what you can do to get it working again. Okay, this is very, very important because a lot of people, they're concerned about diabetes, but they've heard things that aren't exactly right, like sugar gave me diabetes. No, let's get more sophisticated. See this big purple oval in the middle of your screen? That's a cell. It could be a muscle cell, muscle cell in your body. And it runs on glucose. Glucose is a simple sugar that powers your cells. Problem is, it's got to get into the cell in order to do any good. And the membrane surrounding that muscle cell keeps it out. Glucose can't get through. What do you do? Well, you have little channels that can be opened up if you have the key. The key is a hormone. It's made in your pancreas and it's called insulin. That insulin hormone arrives at the surface of your cells and it opens up little channels to allow the glucose to enter the cell. Are you with me so far? The pancreas makes this hormone, insulin. It goes through the bloodstream to your cells and it opens up the cell membrane and now the glucose comes in. That's just great. So what could ever go wrong? Well, here's what could go wrong. Let's say my dinner looked like that. My lunch looked like that. My breakfast looked like that. And I'm eating a lot of fatty foods. And yes, there is a lot of fat in these things. And that fat, the fat in the foods that you eat, builds up inside your cells. So here's our cell. Everything's going great, except what's this? That's fat from cheese. That's fat from mayonnaise. That's fat from beef. That's fat from pork. That's fish fat, chicken fat. Now, doctors hate words like fat. It has only one syllable. That's no good. What are we going to do? We're going to call it intramyocellular lipid, fat inside a muscle cell. When the fat builds up inside your cell, the insulin key doesn't work anymore. The insulin still attaches to the cell, but it doesn't open up the cell membrane. The, the glucose can't get inside. So what do I do? Can I get that fat out of my cell? What if I were to take all the animal products out of your diet? What if, what if we were gonna start a vegan diet? No meat, no dairy, no eggs. And what if I would go one step further and keep oils low too? Well, if there's no animal products, there's no animal fat. And if I keep oils low, there's not much of any kind of fat. And the fat 
inside your cell starts to dissipate. It starts to go away. And when that fat goes away, then the insulin key starts working again. And it opens up the channels and the glucose comes back into the cell and everybody's happy again. Okay, so if I had diabetes, that started out as insulin resistance. It started out as fat inside my cells. And I started a plant-based diet without much oil in it. And the fat went away and now my diabetes improved and maybe it even went away. 